G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've never really done a video like I'm gonna do today. It's kind of like a wish list for next season or also looking at seasons in the past that coincide with this time of year, specifically summer break in USA and why I think next season, chapter two, season seven will be the make or break season for Fortnite. You guys know me. I'm not one of those people to get on the or oh, Fortnite is dying bandwagon, but you guys have probably been able to tell if you've tuned into my streams at all. I'm just not enjoying playing the game as much as I have in the past. I still absolutely love watching tournaments i love competitive but playing the game just isn't it for me right now and there's no major reason it's not like there's the mechs it's not like it was during drum gun meta those are pretty much the only two times before this i've stopped really playing the game and that was because of one particular thing it was either the mechs or the drum guns and then when they got taken out i love the game again but right now it's more of a sense of just staleness i'm just not enjoying the game because the map feels stale the gameplay feels a little bit stale but I don't want to make this a doom and gloom negative. I want to talk about a few positives and a few things that I think Epic could do to make next season the absolute best ever and some evidence, some teasers, and also some trends in the past to kind of defend why I think next season will actually be one of the best seasons we've ever seen. So let's just jump into it. It's no surprise to you, it's no surprise to the Epic developers that kids dominate this game. I absolutely love Fortnite, I'm 27 years old, I'm a boomer to most of you guys, but the game is driven by kids and that's fine. But that means that summer break in the USA is the most important time for Fortnite to make a big statement, drop a really solid season, bring the players back in, give them something to play for, something to enjoy, and then that will keep the game alive for longer because that's what I want. I want Fortnite to go back to the point where it was just so so much fun and I don't think it's that far away. I think a new map, some daily tournaments, a change to the game in some kind of fun way. I mean, the primals and the crafting was an attempt to do that, but I just think it missed the mark. I feel like if you ask most Fortnite players, what would they, what, what's their like biggest negative about Fortnite? It's going to be the farming. It's going to be the loot RNG. So you just added more time for farming and added more loot RNG. I think there's a lot more fun things Epic could do to make the game feel fresh and new. I mean, it's been tossed around for a while now. The idea of weapon attachments could be one. I mean, I don't want to go too crazy like abilities and stuff. I mean, just even putting mythics back into arena, but ha somehow not have them in tournaments. Or at this point, if they're in tournaments, I don't even really mind that much because I just think if the game stays at a pretty, you know, stale meta, like a very just dry cut ARs, shotguns, SMGs, no mobility, one game mode. As much as I love that for competitive, I think it will inevitably lead the game to dying because people will just get bored. But again, no doom and gloom. Summer's coming up. Last few seasons that we've had for summer. Let's talk about them. So the first season, chapter ch chapter one, season five, an absolute banger of a season. In my opinion, one of the greatest seasons we've ever seen. And I think that did coincide with the summer break of America. I think that was very deliberate. But at the same time, as much as I want to talk about chapter one, season five, I know it did have some drawbacks. It had the drum gun. It had the LMG. It did have like a little bit of a spray meta, but it was insanely fun. I would do anything to go back to that season compared to the current one. But early on in Fortnite, we got a lot of cool changes. The map was changing all the time. Things were being added. So I don't know if we can lean on, lean on that too much as what we might get now, because clearly Fortnite is in a different state. But it's fair to say season five was an absolute banger. Now, next season though, the next season that coincided with USA's summer was season nine, chapter one. Again, an absolute banger of a season. This was, in my opinion, the best season ever and I will say that hands down this was so much fun we had Neo Tilted we had Mega Mall we had Lazy Lagoon we had the block we had a whole bunch of mobility everything was crazy everything was so much fun and I don't just think it was coinciding with World Cup and all the excitement around that the only issue is and you're gonna notice this a lot in the video I might contradict myself I want a really good competitive meta because I love tournaments but some of the most fun metas we've ever seen are the ones that aren't competitive, right? World Cup meta, when you break it down, was one of the least competitive metas ever. You had heavy snipers, you had drum guns, you had combat shotguns, you had so you had shadow bombs, you had rifts, you literally had ballers, you had everything in the game that really makes it 
uncompetitive, but it was so, so much fun. So I don't even know what I want at this point, but I think, I genuinely think to save this game, I want a fun meta back, even if it's at the expense of being a little bit competitive, because even the players, I see so many pro players who I know deep down, they want a really competitive meta, but even they are getting tired and bored of grinding. I mean, go on, go on Twitch right now, go on YouTube, look up any videos, any, you know, just streams of pros, they're just not grinding. They're just not playing, not even in creative anymore. It actually scares me how little people are playing this game and how much they're playing other games. And I think that is due to the meta just not being that fun despite it being super competitive. But again, I kind of have to, you know, throw it in there. The, the USA summer did coincide with season 10. It went from season nine into season 10. Season 10 without mechs, would have been phenomenal. But I think the mechs did miss the mark. And that is one thing that scares me a little bit about Epic's developer team. When mechs were dropped in the game, they were told, I remember there was a statement that came out along the lines of, we like the idea of mechs because it gives anyone a chance to kill someone and it gives anyone a chance to win. That scares me a little bit because I, I don't know if maybe that's because they knew how many younger players would be playing during school break. So they wanted something in the game that could let them, you know, beat the sweats. So I hope like something like mechs doesn't come back, but take the mechs away. Season 10 was still decent, but I've got to include that for the sake of arguments. Not every season we've seen during the summer break has been the best. But since jumping into chapter two, chapter two is when everything changed for Fortnite. We realized that we weren't going to get con constant updates every single week. We weren't going to get crazy change, we weren't going to get crazy items, the prize pool was going down, and Fortnite was kind of going for more longevity rather than just these crazy, just riding the high of what Fortnite was. But I actually think Chapter 2 Season 3, which was the season that dropped during USA Summer Break, again, was by far the best and most fun season we've seen in Chapter 2. This is when, well, Okay, maybe Chapter 2 Season 2, that was really, really fun as well. Crazy Mythic, Shark, all of that. But Chapter 2 Season 3 brought what I want from the next season. A big, big change. The map flooded. You could swim. You could ride sharks. You had crazy mythics all around. It felt like a little bit of the old map, but it was enough new stuff to make it feel fun, to make it feel exciting. And then it slowly flooded and then slowly unflooded and it just added so much variety to the game. And even through the mechanic of flooding and unflooding the map, you add, manage to have the same map and add not that much new stuff, but make it feel so fresh and feel so new. And that's what I need from this new season. I need something major. I don't want just three new POIs that I'm going to get bored of after two weeks of dropping at them or even less. And then I'm back to the same map I've been playing this for the longest time with no mythics, nothing exciting. Like even like a Stark Industries change was enough to be like, oh my gosh, we can drop here. It's crazy. We have, you know, Starks, Lambos. Like I need something significant to change in the game next season to make me really, really enjoy it. But I don't just think that's what we're going to get. I think this would be the perfect perfect time to reinvigorate competitive with daily tournaments. I put out this tweet a couple days ago and man, clearly you guys agree. And I'm not surprised. Why wouldn't you agree? I said, please, Fortnite competitive, bring back daily tournaments for summer break. It's God content, boost to the player base, makes competitive way more accessible, and it's a low financial investment. Signed, Aussie Antics. And as you can see, quite a few people agreed. And obviously, everybody wants daily tournaments and I can't think of a single good good reason why they shouldn't be in the game for the investment they bring i mean even if they were like you know a five six hundred dollars for, for like first second and third or something like let's say like na east had a one thousand dollar prize pool and that was split between first second and third i know pros loved it back in the day because it was just ridiculous money but 99.9 percent .9 of people playing in the tournament didn't do it for the money they did it because it was fun so many content creators i mean all you gotta do is remember the laser beam mr fresh you know saga where they were playing all the daily cups they were having so much fun with them pros were playing with their friends you had pros playing with different pros content creators playing with pros you could find your friends and jump on it was such a fun time to play fortnite and it had nothing to do with the prize pool yes there'll be less pros playing if the prize pool isn't there but like i said only top three was getting money sometimes and the games were still stacked they were still insane because it was a really fun meta and it was something to do it was some way to gauge whether you were getting better right now with trio FNCS and only one solo cash cup a week. If you're trying to get into competitive,
wave or if you're like you know a tier 3 pro or tier 4 tier 5 whatever it is if you're like an up and coming pro you really struggle to prove yourself to be able to find a good team and find a good trio and you don't really have a way to gauge if you're improving at all because there's only one tournament a week and that's not enough to get a good benchmark or a good baseline for whether you're improving but if we had daily tournaments and I don't really like the idea of daily trios because again for casuals or for just normal people trying to find two people to play within a tournament every single day could get quite annoying and could be quite difficult solos would be really cool for people with a way to prove themselves but unless the meta is really really good people would get bored and get annoyed of playing solo tournaments all day if the meta was fantastic if there was enough mobility if it was a fun meta I genuinely think solos would work even if the pros would complain and they wouldn't like it I think it would be so good for most pros like up and coming pros trying to make a name for themselves or casual people just to get on and have some fun but ultimately daily duos would be so good just finding one friend maybe making one friend in a discord or just looking for someone online and playing with them in a daily duo cup it would be so much fun everyone could usually find at least one person to play with for them you could then improve as a team it wouldn't have to be solos so you wouldn't get frustrated or bored or lonely playing by yourself every day or even rotate the game modes around i think that could be a fun way to do it solos duos solos duos or maybe a week of solos then a week of duos but either way during summer break when you have such a big player base looking for things to do and there's nothing on during the day you could have so many players come and play fortnite all the pros would stream it people would make videos on it it would just reinvigorate the game so much for such a low economic cost or investment from epic games even if you picked a week let's say every single week of the daily cups you made a skin and for that skin depending on your highest score in the daily tournament you would get a different variant of that skin how good would that be? You could flex your like diamond version of the skin because you got like 100 points in one of the tournaments one day. It would motivate you to play every day to try to get a better score, to get a better version of the skin. And it wouldn't cost Fortnite a dime. Like I really genuinely think there is so much that can be done with daily tournaments. And I think summer's the best time to do it. I know during the school year, it's going to be hard because no matter when Fortnite puts it on, it's either going to coincide with existing tournaments or it's going to make school kids mad because it's going to be on during the day and they can't play but summer break is perfect you could put one on every single day starting around like noon or like 1 p.m it would be done in time for the solos and trio cash cups and then just maybe don't have it on the weekends of fncs but we're about to get a like a five six week break in fncs anyway it is literally the perfect timing if you want daily tournaments guys please like the video let it know in the comment section down below i want to see how many people agree with me and i just hope epic listens I know this video was a little bit different. You guys always tell me to start a podcast or do videos like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on anything I've talked about. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.